We all know that fish oil is a very important thing to eat. And fish oil is good for preventing heart attacks and strokes, for heart arrhythmias, for our cells. It's even good for macular degeneration. There's a long list of things that it's beneficial for, including even anxiety and so forth. But there's a new benefit to add to the list. They just did a study on mice that showed that fish oil, a compound, a derivative from the fish oil, fish oil when given to mice could actually cure chronic myelogenous leukemia. That's no well, this is a place. lot better way to go than to do with chemotherapy, huh? Oh, yeah, which doesn't, doesn't always work either. And they're even using bone marrow transplants for this disease, I know. So we're looking at something simple that comes out of a fish that can be concentrated. And uh, it's got a funny name. It's called D12PGJ3. <laughs> and what it does is it targets the stem cells. Those are the cells in the bone marrow that uh, start the cancer. So if you could get rid of those, uh, then you've got a good chance of curing the cancer. And when they did this in mice, what they did is they just gave them an injection once a day for a week. And after that, the CML, the chronic myelogenous leukemia, was gone. It didn't relapse. And these mice were well. Well, you know, if I had this chronic myelogenous leukemia, I think I would do everything I could to get in the study oh, on humans. Because it would make sense. Because fish oil doesn't have a downside. Not really. I mean, all the things you talked about were good, and I don't know of any downsides to it unless you're allergic to it. I mean, that would be a problem, but that's most unusual. So what does this compound do? It re there's, there's something called a P53 suppressor gene, and what that gene does is suppresses cancer. And if that gene is working fine, you're in business. But a lot of the time in cancer, it doesn't work fine, and then there's not much suppression of cancer. But in this case, this particular compound out of fish oil does a lot to activate P53. And that may be what its actual value is, but until we do a lot more research, we actually won't know. So in the mainstream, we're using chemotherapy. You know what that does. They're using steroids. They're using things that, that are killing cells. It's a very... Uh, tough process to go through. And when you stop the chemotherapy, many times the person just mm. relapses. It comes back again because you haven't gotten after those stem cells, which is what you need to do. So today, the treatment of chronic myelogenous leukemia, especially when it goes into a phase called blast, uh, blast uh, cancer. Like a terminal stage of yes, it. Yes, where these blasts, these myeloblasts are growing at the speed of light. It's really tough and there aren't any treatments that work very well. A lot of the time people are using uh, bone marrow transplants and that seems to have a better result and some people actually can live a fairly normal life after that but you're always looking for these stem cells to come back so finding that just plain old fish oil does it is, is a remarkable thing. There are other treatments that could be used as well in this setting of chronic myelogenous leukemia or other forms of leukemia that we don't look at much in the mainstream which is really kind of disappointing because when you're dying from a cancer that might be treatable using a non-toxic, safe approach. Probably like the artemisinin or the methyl jasmine. Yes, and IV vitamin C. Those are all things that we should be thinking about. And if you go to the search box on the site uh, to uh, put in these things, put in IV vitamin C or artemisinin or methyl jasmine, and you'll see we have some videos and audios put together that will describe what they do and how they work. But for this particular case where we're using a derivative of fish oil to cure CML is a big breakthrough. So I'm encouraged that we can, we can still make progress in this disease and do what we couldn't do because the toxic chemotherapies were just too tough. So spread the news and try and get in that study. Exactly.